Ellie just threw up into her hand. <laughs> <laughs> if you're joining us live right now, you'll see that no, Ellie is no. holding vomit. No, you rubbed it on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. <laughs> You're obsessed with like puke. You told us a gross story before we started, and now you know that's what happened. It's part of my warm up. No, what was so funny that you were covering your mouth? I don't, no, nothing. I thought it was. Uh, Shut <laughs> Grant, can you remotely? Turn up her light intensity, like the lights in the room. Just like the <laughs> lights. I, 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 just, I don't want people to see all the vomit in her room right now. It's right. Just, <laughs> just everywhere. I um no, I feel you know when when teachers. I I used to be the the kid who sat in the front of the classroom, uh, but then I also was a happy kid, so I left, and you know because I felt like you know there's nothing, there's no better feeling than when you know tell a joke and someone laughs, and I was that kid, but I always got call, called out. Like what Troy just did. (laughs) Why are you laughing, Ellie? I'm like, I thought you were telling a joke. Do you Uh, have enough vomit for the entire class? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Lord. Do you have enough vomit for the entire class? Um, It's good to be back. Is it? I don't know. Good to be. Of course it is. Yes. Why? Of course it is. is Tell me two good reasons, O'Brien, why it's good to be back. Well, for one... I love fighting incorporeal creatures. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. I was yeah. so bummed when you stopped the episode early. And then I remembered why. Because you wanted to give us all week to think about fighting incorporeal creatures. It just soaked <laughs> right. up that enjoyment. The thrill of the coming week. Yeah. Uh, so I was exciting. Ex- I was excited for this. And then I was like, oh, man, that starship combat, starship combat, incorporeal, incorporeal, four ups in a row. I'm like, that's really brutal on them. That's- yeah, it, it is kind of funny because you talked so much about the starship combat in previous things, knowing the whole time that once the boarding action happened, it was just a swarm of ghosts. <laughs> that's just wild to me. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm just hoping the next battle will involve a poison that requires multiple saves and affects almost all of us <laughs> and cripples us to the point of being able to do almost nothing in the battle. That's what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, and zero gravity. Zero yes. gravity. In zero gravity. Zero gravity. Yeah. Uh, God. <laughs> well, you know, you guys are a lot more equipped to handle uh, incorporeal creatures now than you were when you were on the Drift Rock fighting in zero G with like, I think only one of you could do damage to it. It was a real yeah. disaster. That was the, <laughs> we still talk about that app. That's the one that almost brought down the network. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was so hot up there. It was the an worst. awful day. The and worst. yeah, you guys. I was a zombie. Yeah, you were a zombie. That's yeah. right. Just to give Sydney some context, we were, um, I don't know if you've ever been upstairs in the studio. I it, have. Don't go, don't, oh yeah, well, <laughs> weird stuff happens up there. And it was we, before the air. No, 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 no. And, <laughs> and some of these, and some someone, I'm not going to name any names, decided that we'd have our recording studio up there instead of the wonderful open landscape down there. It was, there. yeah, people who knew that we needed sound. That was the someone. We had <laughs> yeah, yeah. good sound. Well, okay, we, I'm going to name the someone. It was Troy. Um, yes, and it, was, it, was, uh, it was all of us. I supported no. Troy in this endeavor. It was we, all, we, all, just we all understood why we were doing it. We didn't the like cavernous it. downstairs. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It would have it like it was put before. the sound dampening in. It was before we did any soundproofing, so it would have it would have sounded like we were recording the show in like a mechanic's garage. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it was, I decided. I know it's fourteen degrees out, but we're gonna do this episode outside tonight. We had to Unfortunately, have Unfortunately, the air conditioning had not been installed was, yet. Yeah, either. it was one hundred and fifty right. degrees up there. Um, sweaty. It's bad. Ball sweat everywhere, and yeah. um, and then I think we had that encounter and. Uh, yeah. Ooh, tensions ran yeah. high. That's yeah. so funny Terrible. because I've obviously I've listened to the entirety of A and A, like the show. Um, so I knew I know what episode you're talking about, and I know that arc, and I know when you're on the drift rock. I didn't realize the story behind it, uh, <laughs> which is even funnier because yeah, how were you guys not screaming at Troy? Oh, it was oh, heavily edited. A lot of it out. I heavily edited. Heavily, yeah. heavily <laughs> edited episode. Yes. yes. <laughs> Couldn't have done that one live. Couldn't have done that one live. <laughs> I'm Wait, still waiting. Didn't Ellie cry? Yeah. She, yeah. No, There's I mean, been so was... many times she's cried. I can't keep up anymore. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I think. I, well, this one was for it's real. Like, oh, it Ellie wasn't cried crocodile again. 
It wasn't crocodile tears. It was the. It was the. I think it was like because I rolled a natty one, and I was oh. new. I was like two weeks in or something, and I rolled a natty one and shot Dax and nearly killed him. And <laughs> all of them, <laughs> and all of all Forgot of you guys, part. being who you are, were like, "How Ellie? Fuck! How dare you? Like, how <laughs> you're such a bad player?" And I'm like, a "Terrible move." <laughs> I will never, there's one moment that I will never forget. It was the thing, I think, that had Skid uh, almost quit the network and never game with us again, even personally, uh, which was the confusion that made him do damage to himself. And even though his strength oh, yeah. bonus was negative, Troy still made it be a minimum of zero, but bonus damage to his strength. <laughs> and he was so furious. And to this day, I still think about that. Anytime I think about a confusion roll where you deal damage to yourself plus your strength modifier, I'm always like, I wonder if you should minus that damage if you have a negative strength. <laughs> like, yeah. if it's, you know what I mean? Like the, the skid effect. <laughs> the skid effect. <laughs> I just try to think logically. And whatever will benefit my character in the moment. Oh, and, and also, I can't remember if it was during that episode or just right before it. I know it was upstairs and I know it was hot and awful conditions. Might have been a different episode. But it was when we also got immensely irritated because if you're sickened, your gun deals less damage. Remember? Oh, yeah. Oh, so right. bad. Oh. And we're like, why is it minus two damage to a laser gun? Because <laughs> yeah, sick. the laser's not sick. The laser's fine. <laughs> you weren't pulling the trigger as hard or something. <laughs> Less of a laser was coming, coming up. out. <laughs> it was really funny. Skip goes so mad at the like illogical nature of it. He couldn't. Yeah, that's the thing that really puts you over the edge is the illogical shit like that. That's that's what fucking does it to me. God, that seems like a hundred years ago, and it really wasn't that long ago that we were recording yeah, this. See, it really, it really does. It feels like a hundred years ago. But it, yeah. it was but it was three years ago. So it's it was three years ago. Yeah. No. yeah. And you don't uh and, and I guess this is the other reason why I'm excited to play tonight, because you never know when those moments are gonna happen. And right. it's, it, the odds are so much higher with five incorporeal creatures. <laughs> it's true. And a uh and um Oh my god, just blanking. What do we have here? What is this this uh this captain is a uh, an envoy. Envoy man. Oh so it's envoy. I think this is the first like envoy we fought, right? Like a high level envoy. Yeah. Um, yeah, certainly cool. at this level, yeah. Um, you don't know what else he's got going on, but he walked right out the gate with some improved get him and some clever attack. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's, it'll be interesting to see because if this does start to fall apart, it's raw and unedited. So uh, everyone <laughs> will see our true colors uh, when we get angry. <laughs> I but feel like they already it's not have. 105 degrees in your uh, respective homes. And uh, we, can, uh, we can get through this without uh, tearing each other live from limb. Is it 105 degrees in David Winter's home, David? Or do you keep it a, a yeah. cool 42? Yeah. It's all last name based, actually, really. I don't even have, it, don't even have a heater. <laughs> it's an ice castle. Yeah. Really what's, your, the um, what's your preferred temperature, La Valley? Oh, like outside? In general, in life, I don't know. Fifty-five whatever. degrees is my favorite temperature. I like anything between. Degrees? Yeah, I like. I when it's fifty-five it's also degrees. Your favorite out, number. It's also my favorite number. Yeah. Oh, I thought uh, that was thirty-three, Larry Bird. No, that's Larry Bird's favorite number. <laughs> <laughs> that confusion Aren't happens you proud all the time. That I remember. I remember. Uh, uh, yes, I mean, oh, you did very good. I thought you were going to say like uh, Sunny Peacock. That's <laughs> Sunny Peacock's favorite. You mean Larry oh, Bird? Yeah, is. Is, it might oh. be. There's a Larry. Thank you, Skip, for having a Larry Bird gift for anything else. Uh, yeah, no, 55 is my favorite number, but 55 is my favorite temperature. I like it. 55 degrees. Then I can go out with a pair of shorts, sit down, eat a ham sandwich, and feel like a million bucks. Follow I'm looking up. it up in Celsius. 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Do you mm -hmm. like the sun shining in a bright blue sky, or do you like an overcast 55? Mm -hmm. And not raining, but like an even overcast 55. I don't like mm. the sun blaring in my eyes unless I'm at the beach. So, but I don't want to sit out there in the dark, dismal day, especially with like, uh, you know, the winter months. You know what, though? I started taking a little vitamin D at the, be at the beginning of the winter season. I take a D3. Uh, I just deal with a 1,000 IU a day. And let me tell you something. I feel like a million bucks. Everyone you know, should yeah, you take know my vitamin D. Everyone my should mood take it. is improved and my bones are strong. My favorite part of those things is how inexpensive they are. 
Yeah. Wait. Are they really expensive? Are you being facetious? <laughs> yes. They're so expensive. <laughs> I want those vitamins. You can't put a get price the- on your mental health. I used to right. get like seasonal affective disorder. If I started taking this, now I'm just like, oh, you, I'm no longer sad. They I are really the small and you get like 3,000 of them in a bottle though, Joe. Yeah, man. They're, not, they're, they're really, you can take more than one. You can take up to four a day if you want. Uh, uh, they're really <laughs> tiny though. Everyone like should Drunk. take Yellow. vitamin D. Yellow, different. Uh, I don't oh, really look at the... I don't really look what? at the value of what I'm purchasing. I just mm. look at a number. I'm like, that's high. And then I walk away. <laughs> What'd you say, Matthew? Number high. No <laughs> number high. high <laughs> price bad. Vitamin D, not cheese. <laughs> By the way, I, for our European listeners, I looked We don't have up- any. We have plenty. We just had no. a crit- like last week. We had a fumble from yeah. Hamburg. From no, no. Yeah. So Hamburg. for Hamburg, he Germany, lives on 50- a Hamburg. <laughs> I so anyway, uh, fifty-five Fahrenheit is twelve Celsius, which is insane. That you told me that you go out in shorts in twelve oh, Celsius. Oh yeah, yeah, that's oh, cold. Sign me up. No, it's not. It really isn't. It's wonderful. I was out in short. It was it was uh, fifty-two degrees recently, and I was out in I was out in shorts. See? Jesus Christ, guys! Yeah, I, I, I can do I, very comfortable in shorts in that weather it, with a hoodie or something. But like, you uh, don't yeah. really need the long pants to feel warm. Once it gets <laughs> into the thirties, you need the pants. But, you know what yeah. it is, Ellie? You know what it is? Societal standards. Us having to shave our legs. I go out in shorts on a fifty-five degree day. That hair grows back like that, and I'm like, what yeah. the fuck was the point of even wearing these shorts? <laughs> yeah. to, I can't show these off now, and I have to cover my legs. Yeah, for yeah. Yeah. men, I think the shorts represents less effort. Or for for it's women, more it's, effort. it's probably it's more effort. So yeah, it's why great, would you bother? Yeah, so and, true and it's also the reason why Matthew can go out in shorts in sub zero temperatures. <laughs> those hairy right. legs are not letting anything in. I yes. just wander out, you know, <laughs> and I hi- and I find a nice spot in the park and I hibernate. Matthew, yeah. Yeah. Matthew like, is, that, is, that, is that Dan Hedjild Hedjild walking through Central Park? <laughs> Matthew is single-handedly responsible for every sighting of the Queen's Bigfoot Society <laughs> in all of New York. He, they, they see him with his shorts on, and they're like, yep, another one, May 22nd. They're like, who wears brown corduroys to the beach? Oh, no, that's just a hairy child. <laughs> Why am I a child? <laughs> <laughs> it's a little... Uh, no, the colder the better. I don't understand why older people retire to Florida. Just, it's hot. It's warm. Yeah. I like the cold. I want to retire to Burlington, Vermont. Ooh, I want to be oh, like what? cold. You want to shovel shit. your driveway? Yeah, well, well yeah, you're to shovel your driveway. The crazy Eventually, thing your body will become frail. Yeah, it, well, I'm you can only stave off so much. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta take a little more. <laughs> so the crazy <laughs> thing. The crazy thing is that Troy obviously. You have one experience with a Swede, and you shouldn't base. But like, I think you would love Sweden because it's always cold, and no one talks to you. Everyone leaves you alone because <laughs> you hate other people. That sounds you would amazing. Love that Strong pitch. Sounds amazing. Yeah. 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 You know what, Ellie? You make a good case. <laughs> yeah, like, I I left the country for a reason, but I feel like there could be a switcheroonie. I could move to whatever Westchester you live, and you can go back to Uppsala. Yeah. That's why I think I, I would have enjoyed uh, spending more time in San Francisco. Like uh, mm. Bill Burr always Ooh. says, it's a uh, less racist Boston. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the weather is perfect. True. It's like fall all year round. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, I, I could, love the weather out there. I could yeah, get into that. Too. A few times it does get chilly there. in the, the ballpark after dark, but yeah. Dark. Any poop. I guess we should play this game. We we gab so much, we only get a couple <laughs> rounds in our combat. I thought about going long <laughs> last week, but once I saw that 20 come up, two 20s in, that, uh, in a round and a half, I was like, oh, there it is. There's my out. Uh, so uh, hopefully I can just permanently kill Kresge right here, and then Qualo can take his seat as rightful captain. Joe, give me a C. Give me a bouncy C in the old sirenscape uh, as I roll out some double damage with my liquid disintegrator pistol. As you remember, when you came on this ship, you went to the front. Crew is dead. Luckily, Friss is able to hack in, sends a piggyback signal out to stop the cultists from closing in on you and wiping you off the face of the earth. Uh, <laughs> then you walk out in the hallway and Mr. Bojangly Man is standing there staring at you creepily. 
I thought I killed you, Qualo, but you're here. Well, now I'll send you the devourer. And then these shades emerge from the bulkheads of the ship right out of the wall to surround you. You have taken out one of them. Callum put on the killing blow when she sent, or he sent this sweet ass disc around, hitting everybody, including the jangly man. Kreska took advantage of a bunch of uh, attacks of opportunity to move up to the front, uh, or the back rather, to confront the jangly. But a, uh, a misread of the haste circuit allowed me to pull off this awesome attack. David, do you want to talk <laughs> about that? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, I've spent all week being really, really, really upset about this, but uh, I got my haste spells mixed up between various different systems in it the happens. case of a haste. Yeah, it happens. Uh, in the case of an actual haste circuit, though, um, all you get is 30 feet of move, and then you get a move action if you're doing a full attack, not right. just an add and move action. And right. Well, you know, we were happens. wondering how Troy managed to cram 17 standard actions into his turn at the it end of last It seemed like a lot more than it was. Now, mistakes <laughs> were made, fault. but uh, David's hand is off the chess piece, so yeah. unfortunately, we're going to roll out yeah. the sandwich. <laughs> uh, oh! Oh, that's nice. That's 32 points of damage. What Where's your points of illegal uh, damage, but I will, I will put it on my character Well, I'll tell you, Matthew, <laughs> honestly, I don't think it really would have made a difference. Like, if anything... Because it's a natural 20. It's still going to hit you. Like, if I didn't pull off the clever attack, you wouldn't have been flat-footed. Do you know what I mean? Oh, no. I still would have been able to step back and that, that blast it wouldn't you. have hit me. I'm concerned that you got to shoot at all, considering the action was illegal. No, I took the guard. <laughs> Let's say I don't have the haste circuit, right? Yeah. Let's say that David didn't give me a free haste, hasted movement. I take my guarded step, I draw, and I fire. Natural 20. Can you deny oh, so that? you didn't do the improved get em. So none of the creatures have plus two to hit. So you're going to remove the damage. improved get em to make it right. So which Imp one are you going to take away to make yeah. it right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So hold on. I will. I'll. No, no. I've got this. So David, um, I think we can. Here we get into rules lawyering. This is well, why no, I'm no. a lawyer. Uh, I'd like you to ask my lawyer that question. Well, well no. What you could have done with improved get em is there is uh, part of improved get em. There's a standard action that involves doing both the get em as well as the attack. So right. you just wouldn't have gotten the feints, so the flat-footed aspect of it. So okay. you can remove the flat-footed component in that bluff check and still be able to step, shoot, and get them, um, everyone. That's what I do. That's what I do. I withdraw my objection, Your Honor. I'm taking flat-footed off my sheet. There you go. Uh, I'm the bailiff. Please remove I'm the hairy child from the car. <laughs> <laughs> It's bold. <laughs> Caleb, oh. please remove the hairy chub from the corduroy. <laughs> Sir, oh, take off those corduroys. All right. Uh, <laughs> that was the jangling man's turn. So I didn't get to use clever feint. Uh, but however, it is all of my shades turn. Can you say but however? That seems wordy. Anyways, let's do some incorporeal touches. <laughs> Ten but however. I think that's a Matthew question. It is redundant. You don't need to say but. You're redundant. Um, I am going to uh, move towards Friss and lay down the law. I feel like I got another 20 in me. It's this guy. This guy right here, that prototype die. You can see through it. Maybe we should sell these. Maybe we should sell these. I got to just change something on the logo. The little D20 inside of the P doesn't print. That's why we didn't oh. uh, sell them. But uh, I think that's going to be a miss, Friss, with a map 17 against EAC. Yes. All right, let's yes. do let's do four attacks on Linnea with these two dudes here. Quick question, just to be on the up and up. Did you allow us two to hit? Eat I em. didn't. Thank you. Uh, that would be a nineteen against EAC. Doctor Friss. Uh, that is also a miss. Okay. Joe is out to get you. Uh, however, not, I will not, not make that mistake again. Uh, all right, Linnea. Four attacks. Mm -hmm. You got a good AC. I'm getting that plus two, though. Let's yeah. see what happens. Multiple attacks. Here we go. I have a minus two on my attack, though. Okay. AC. Oh, so and my AC. You have a minus two to your AC? Yep. Because Why? I took cleave last time. Oh, that's round. right. Mm. Can I hit you with four attacks? Let's find out. Let's no, you can. find out. All right. 24 to hit. Miss. Oh, uh, fuck. Against, against EAC? Yak. Yeah, that's a, that's a hit. Oh. Thanks, thanks to the minus two. Thanks oh. to the old minus two. Why don't you cleave again? Six points of acid damage. Ooh. Second attack. Another hit. Four. 
max damage, eight points of acid damage. Let's move on to the next shade. First attack. 25 against EAC? Yes. Ooh, seven points of acid damage. And then the next, the final hit. Remember when you said I couldn't hit you with all four? Let's see if you're right. But like you're making... Natty, 18. That's another hit against you. Four hits against Linnea because she took cleave. That is going to be six points of acid damage. Yeah, but like it's all sub 10. Who cares? It adds up, though. It adds up. I don't understand this. This, this tactic, Ellie, at all. <laughs> yeah, really? I really don't. I love I'm it. Gonna, I, I love it. I think it's great. Keep doing it. Uh, it's, I want to live awesome. on the edge. It's awesome. I just don't get it. I live on the edge. Why? why, why sh- I appreciate it. Because he's just going to inta- He's just gonna go after her. Yeah, no, actually, you know yeah, what? that's true. <laughs> keep, no, keep doing it. I fuck with Ellie because Ellie has lost... Has Ellie lost the most PCs in Androids and Aliens? Yes. Maybe. Maybe it's yes, possible. Right. Can you, but can you but can you top most PCs lost across the network? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's and also, you, can you name yeah. Ellie's PCs? <laughs> Probably you. not. All right. But I'm uh, saying I love to live on the edge, Ellie. Keep doing it. Callum, I mean, you're about to live on the edge when I uh, attack you, uh, good and luck. you're you're being flanked. Two attacks. Here we go. Obvious hit on the first attack. What is max, it? Max max damage. You want to do the math? Yeah. All right. It is. Uh, minus four, but plus four, so even. 28. Is it 28 against your EAC? A hit? Cow. Yeah, like, yeah, it kind of just hits me. Whatever. I don't care. I'm a teenager. I'm going through puberty. Well, puts <laughs> put eight points of acid damage on your he mouth. Tells the shade, shade that? tongue. <laughs> wow. Eight Image points of acid damage. Uh, no, he screams in pain. All right. After that eight points of acid damage, I don't think the second one is going to hit with a 16. Does not. Against E-A-C. Excuse me, 18 because of flanking. Does not. You're not. Uh, the last one here is going to attack Kreska. Get away from the jangly man. Two attacks. Ooh, thought it was going to be a nat 20, but it wasn't. That's going to be a 20. Against EAC, straight. Miss. Miss. Okay. Final attack. Natural two. Miss. Not bad. Linnea got lit up, but it wasn't a lot of damage, according no, to Linnea. Let's move along here to Qualo. So this Misatro. is Qualo's second round. This is round two of combat, correct? I'm just refreshing my memory. I believe yes, it is. Yes, it is. So you see in kind of a weird Agent Smith way, as you're looking at Qualo, you can't tell. You're seeing shadows of himself around him, and you can't tell what's happening in the future or the past. Um, and in that moment, he decides before he strikes to consult his captain. Captain, do you need help, or should I continue to concentrate on the shades? Take out the shades. I'll distract the jangly man for another moment. Okay. Um, and I mean, then, let's be honest. It's going to be another episode until we get to round three. So <laughs> have, have, your, have your fun now. <laughs> uh, then Qualo will take flashing strikes out at the shade uh, in front of him and uh, next to Callum, threatening Callum. First attack. It's going to be a 17 on the die. That's a hit. Okay. For damage. Give me that sweet, sweet damage. Oh, bad dice on that. That is only 5 on 3d6. Plus 21, plus 26. 28 points of damage for the first attack. points of damage. Yes. And then the second attack will be a uh, 22 to hit. That's a hit. Okay, great. Okay, so that will be... Ooh. 13 plus 15 will be 28 plus 1d4 will be 32 points of damage. There's your 16 points of damage. You know what? You just reminded me. Yeah, speaking of 1d4s. I think we're thinking of different things, David, but please oh. tell me what you were thinking. I believe from that critical corrode effect. David, it, don't, don't tell. No, you. David, I'm yes. sorry. We're losing David. We're losing David. No. 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 Oh, no, no, How many no times have we told you about your internet, David? <laughs> Such a shame. Such right. a shame. Yeah, you're supposed to start that turn with one point of acid damage, and okay. now that you've ended your turn, do you want to take that reflex save against that ban? Yes, please. Against that critical corrode. All right, reflex. And then is I need to talk to Ellie for a second. My worst save. 
Uh, 16 on the die for a total of a yeah. 21. You're all right. Yeah. You're no longer burning. Fantastic. Why, uh, However, what's Allie, up, Troy? Well, let me see. Koala, are you done with your turn? I am finished with my turn. I was going to do a mysticism check, but Kreska had a humdinger of one last episode. You did mm. very good. Well, I uh, just want to say this. Uh, since my turn ended and your turn ended, I don't think there's anything you can say. What I'd like you to do is take another eight points of damage because each of those four attacks got a two bo- a bonus two to damage because of the improved get em. So Ooh. is now the damage starting to bother you? Or do you need <laughs> more? After everything I've done for you. You've done nothing. You treat me like this. <laughs> everything you've done has been bad. <laughs> it's Dax's oh, turn. Oh my God. What a blanket, Jeez. terrible statement That's to say so to bad. someone. <laughs> really just everything you ever see, done. Really now you wonder bad. why I cry. Sometimes I feel bad about fighting with Matthew, and then you say something like that, and I'm like, okay, we're good. Matthew, let's fight again. <laughs> Guys, if we can all make her cry by the end of the episode, we've done our job. Oh, no, no. I don't no, no, aspire no, no, to no, things no. like that. Yeah. Well, Matthew, you're... You're playing the wrong game. Yeah. Come on, David Winters. Who's that you on? <laughs> <laughs> At least let me have you. Sorry, sir. I'm going to make you cry, Winters. Uh, I could make you I'm cry, sur- Winters. I'm surprised you haven't made David cry already. That's yeah, all I'm there. So Put him on screen when he cries, Grant. Put him on screen when he cries. He's on screen. Biting emails. <laughs> Late oh, well, night text. That's not how haste works, and your parents <laughs> don't love you. <laughs> They're watching. <laughs> Uh, all right, it is Dax's turn. Daxie McGee. Uh, all right, question. You said that I was shaken for the rest of the time. That is, that's true, right? I only had to see him or hear him once, even if I get out of line of yeah, sight so of him. Yeah, so basically he can reactivate uh, that thing that he's doing with a swift action every round. For okay, but activating a haste circuit is a swift action, isn't it? Uh, well, we reckoned him not doing the haste yeah, circuit. Yeah, we didn't do that. Okay, but if I then can't see or hear him, do I not take the something? Or what? What was the uh, thing about seeing or hearing? I don't remember. It was know, a little. If you can see or hear him, you take a minus two to that save. But because oh, save. you, okay, yeah, gotcha. yeah. that's right. Uh, nah, let me just make sure you don't get any. Because I'm about to attack twice with a terrible bonus. So, so imagine I'm just as long to see as if he I could can... squeeze anything out of this. Imagine he's talking the whole time. And so as long as you can hear him, he's doing that. So yeah. as an okay. envoy, I don't feel like improvising that, but he's, oh, yeah, oh, yes, oh, no, oh, oh misatro. That's what he's uh, doing. This dude's weirding me out. Uh, <sighs> okay, here we go. Two shots at the shade right in front of Friss. I want to clear the area for Friss so he's yeah. not under attack clear by this air. ghost. Clear the air. Uh, I feel great about this role. Here we go. Natty 19. I can oh. feel it. Oh, yeah. Feel it. Uh, now let's get some damage, Dax. Ooh, <gasps> there it is. That is 31 points of Ooh. damage. So 15, Ooh. 15 points. A solid of damage. 15. Okay. Uh, that is almost as almost max, and uh, and then a second attack. That is a 22 against EAC. That is a hit, buddy. Yeah. Yes. yes. So awesome, and another great one. That is 28 points of damage. So. 14. Come on, LaValle. Come on. That's enough, good buddy. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Oh. That is two shades down. Three, oh, excuse me, four and a jangly man to go. And it is Callum's turn. Callum, you had a hell of a round last week. Yeah. Do you have anything left in the tank? I honestly, I thought for a second about doing Hurl Force Disc again because it's. It's really my only spell where I can hit multiple targets without burning, I guess, resolve points, but I don't even have a spell that would do that. But I'm going to do something different. Okay. Um, I am going you. to... Callum's going to take his hands together and then make like a slicing action, uh, doing some yoga, doing like a slicing action <laughs> uh, in front of him towards the jangly man. Uh, oh. And he is going to expose the target to churning entropy, which turns parts of their body sickly and black. Uh, oh, cool. Fortitude save. Fortitude save for the jangly man. Okay. We find the, the jangly man's jangle. fortitude? It's okay. Natural one. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes! Okay, so, so natural... It's- 
one. <laughs> it's beautiful. I love that. Thank you for that, Troy. No, um, no, thank you. Oh, no, 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 and thank you. So two d six. Skid. It's amazing. <laughs> what did you do to my jangles? What did you do to my jangles? Uh, that's only seven points of damage, but it is seven points of magical damage to jangling okay. men. And, and hey. uh, I'm going to do. Uh, David, can you help me with this? It yep, says plus I'm... one, plus one creature every three levels. So if I'm level nine, you would be able to do three more creatures. But based on your previous knowledge check, because the other ones have undead immunities, you know that uh, fortitude saves, it's immune to those. Mm -hmm. So there is a sentence, though, in your spell where you can target a single creature instead of multiple. And if you do that, that target is staggered. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, we'll take it. So you'll take that instead. We'll take option B. Thank Thank you. I will do that instead. Never say David doesn't help you guys. Never say it. Troy, let's David get David a promotion as soon as possible. Uh, <laughs> All right, so yeah. make it make him head of the lawyers. I'm gonna put the old snail <laughs> on Skip. my jangles. And I want you guys Ew. to know, Callum. Callum is like, you know, he's drinking Mountain Dew and he's having fun. And then when he's in combat mode, he's freaky. He's like a little ang, like Avatar: The Last Airbender. He just gets like super zen and weird, and he like connects mm. with future, past, weird. present, and he's just like he's scary to look at. It's like a freaky thing. Cool. That's really cool, Sid. That's really cool. And to cool. think cool. that I was but a child. <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, uh, <laughs> hi, Callum, you're doing great. <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, okay, that a, whatever. That's a pretty good Sweet. round for Callum there. Like, only seven points of damage, but really fucks up the jangly man's action economy, uh, making him staggered, uh, you know, just because he's got a lot of shit going on. And so that uh, that is huge. Um Let's keep it moving then right to the end of the round. End of round two. Kreska Letha. Kreska Letha oh, so raises a finger and says, I would prefer if you stopped speaking. Please roll a fortitude save. Oh, Ooh. hell yeah. Ooh. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. All right, Troy let's stick or to this uh, jangly man. <laughs> jangly man. Uh, 90, 19. You got it. Exactly. Fuck. Oh, well, it's it's much higher than nineteen. <laughs> natty nineteen. Um, oh, natty nineteen. Um, okay. Well then. Oh no. So my initiative tracker. You. Um, <gasps> no. Oh no. Control shift oh, you T. You gotta be kidding. Me. <laughs> oh, no. Or command shift T. This is not command. your first rodeo. What is command shift T? Opens last closed tab. No. No, I okay. didn't close it. I just hit back. Oh, that's well. You're screwed. Ooh. Oh, that no. was dumb. Well, folks, that's the episode this week. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for uh, coming on my face. This Matthew is was so right. We got one more round. <laughs> that yeah, was it. Right. Oh, let's take some time here to really talk about you guys as people. Hey, so mm. what's going through Friss's head right now? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that stuff. I mean, also, what is going through Friss's head? He's been in that back room. He's not even with any of us. Do you know there's well, I was other... hanging. I was hanging back because I was like, Friss is searching the bodies while you all are doing whatever you're doing. Oh. So I was I was going to spring that as like, oh, he's not even there. Oh, really, he's Colonel blocked. Mustard? Is that what you've been doing all this evening? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Um... Can I talk about what's going to happen to the jangly man? Yeah, yeah what spell please. was that? Um, Psycho- if I don't... Psychokinetic strangulation. Oh, yeah. Ooh. So he is strangled, but he's not immobilized. Oh, so that's, you can, that's good. So he still takes the damage, and he'll continue to take the damage every round as long as I concentrate on it. I love he'll that spell. Sa- he'll get a new save every round, of course. But So shall I roll the damage while we're trying to vamp here? Yeah, man, Ooh. yeah. I'm just okay. going to kill myself Ooh, that's real a five. quick. <laughs> Ooh, that's another five. So that's 18, but you take Ooh. out half damage, so you'll take nine points of damage to the jangly man. Oh. Troy, don't kill yourself. Just <laughs> take another vitamin D. Nine It'll make you feel points better. points to the jangly man. This and then is... Kreska will take a guarded step up to get in the jangly nine man's man. business. You he get out of there, you son of a gun. That's my business. <laughs> well, he seems like he's the kind of guy who likes to share his business. Ooh. You don't know him. <laughs> what a burn. Uh, I am. A good burn. <laughs> this is just such a shit show. Kreska goes last, right? All right, so I have Dr. Frisk, then Linnea, Jangly Man, the Shade Spawns, and then is it Callum, Qualo, Dax, Kreska? 
Uh, Linnea, Frist, actually. Yeah, Linnea's first, then Frist. Dax is definitely before Callum. Yep, right before Callum. After the Shades, before Callum. Do you go right after the Shades? I believe so. Or does it go Qualo Dax? Don't know. Okay, who went right before Kreska? It was Callum. Yes. Okay, great. I got it. I'm back. I'm back. We're back, baby. He's back. We're back. We're back. All right. Did you take Kreska. that nine points of damage? I took the nine points of damage. <laughs> you got a lot going on. I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything. You hairy son of a bitch. <laughs> it's round three, <laughs> and it's Linnea's turn. Oh, yeah. Linnea, was uh, four attacks against you not enough? What's uh, it going to take to shut you up? I mean, it's going to take a lot, actually. Uh, All right. And by that, I mean Ellie and Linnea. So, mm. and here we go. I'm gonna focus in on one. I'm gonna focus in on the one that's west of me. Left. All right. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Joe? I missed whatever went on. Uh, you missed Troy's visual gag where he was crushing vitamin D pills <laughs> like, like Tic Tacs. Like, <laughs> this is a real like mood enhancer. Ate 15 of them and just crunched them all up. <laughs> We've got oh an OD. God. Call in the You're ambulance. Gonna... I feel bad. Those I feel are good. bad. I feel bad. die. O-D- D-O-D. Mm. I feel Isn't great. there vitamin D in cheese? Yeah, ask man, that's why I don't Joe. need those vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mother called me during the, the first couple months of the quarantine. I'd rather spend that money on cheese. <laughs> she, she called me during the first few months of the quarantine concerned I wasn't going outside enough. And she's like, you're going to have a vitamin D deficiency. I was like, where else can I get vitamin D? And she started to rattle things off. And then she was like, cheese. I was like, I'm fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, you know, the yeah. irony is for so many years, I when I would get blood work done, it, the doctor would be like, everything came back normal, except you have vitamin D deficiency. You get uh, out in the sun more, whatever it is. Cause like I'm always slathered in sunscreen and wearing hats whenever I'm out in the sun. <laughs> and, uh, but I was like, I eat so much cheese doc. Like why is it, isn't doc. cheese whiz loaded with vitamin D? <laughs> Shouldn't that be the picture of health doc with all this cheese I'm pounding? Cheese whiz. <laughs> Yeah, I, th- I thought easy cheese on a Ritz cracker was the same as taking a vitamin. <laughs> like to your, doctor, not. your doctor in the moment, like, you've been eating a lot of cheese, yeah. and you think that's good for you. <laughs> like, yeah. There's way more going on than just vitamin D. Yeah, yeah forever. We're going to put you in with a therapist. He was like, so, so how's your diet? Time? And I was like, a lot of port wine, spreadable cheese around midnight, 12.30 a.m. Is that, does that sound about right? After 14 <laughs> beers and a bottle of wine, we <laughs> should just finish the night with some Ritz crackers and minutes. some port wine cheese. <laughs> some venison. Surprisingly <laughs> enough, easy cheese does not have any vitamin D. Oh. <laughs> That's the problem. All right, I'll go to the pharmacy. This is the fifth time we've removed your kidney stones this year, Joseph. <laughs> Let's hear from vitamin E. What do you want to do there, Ellie? Yep, I'm coming. Um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm doing it, and okay. here it is. Uh, Against first, the West first guy. First strike. Um, that's going to be 17 against Jack. That is a miss. Yep. Oh. Battle Ribbon oh. McGee. What else you got? Well, now I got um, now, uh, 20, something 25, 26. Something 25? Uh, 26. That is a hit. Yep. I think. And here we go. Roll out that sweet, sweet damage with your ribbon. Yep. Ooh, 29 points of damage. So I know half 14 that. 14 points of damage. Not too shabby. Ooh. Not too shabby. Was that a ribbon, he says to himself? That almost left a mark on my shade. <laughs> it's Dr. Friss's turn. Here we All go. Right. Friss is like, good job, you bucket of bolts. And moves over behind the console, piloting console, and gets a good look at the shade next to Linnea through the door. It's going to do a trick attack. Succeeds on that roll against its flat-footed AC. Although I'm still shaken, uh, that is a that is a 16 against its flat-footed AC. 16 against flat-footed cack or yak. Uh, that is yak. That is a hit. Nice, nice uh, friss. Nice. And I'm not giving friss a cover penalty here because he's got a nice clean shot through that door. Thank you, and that is 24 points of fire damage. Ooh, the plasma oh, pistol. I had ass. Solid 12 from the Friss. Uh, Let's move back to the jangly man. He is staggered. 
Can only take a standard or a move. Oh, and we have Callum to thank for that, right? That was huge. That was yeah. big. Love a good staggered in the middle. What's better of than it. staggered? Yeah, I know. It's What's better so than nothing. staggered? I can take nothing. swift actions as normal uh, while yeah. staggered, so I will continue to activate my disquieting nanites. Uh, giving you all, with the exception of uh, Kreska and Qualo, minus two. Um, then I want to uh, do a standard action against Kreska. Do you have a, a weapon out that you like? I'll provoke, right? You're always a Vesk is yeah. never unarmed. All right, please <laughs> take resolve your attack of opportunity. Oh, why? Thank you. <laughs> uh, that is wait, wait, where am I? Where are my unarmed strike? Okay, that is a twenty-one to hit against CAC. Okay, I see. Yeah, that is a hit exactly. Nice. Okay. That'll be twenty-four points of damage. Twenty-four points of damage. That's a that's a really good attack of opportunity. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right. Uh, and those are now, magical, if that matters, for the purposes of DR or anything like that. Yeah, you're magical. I um, got the magic hands, man. Yeah, I get it. You're magical. <laughs> <laughs> you're a magic man. I get it. Uh, so I'm going to just keep my improved get him going here and uh, burn another resolve so that uh, everybody gets plus two to attack and damage. Uh, oh, wait. Who did I hit this round? Oh, I haven't attacked yet. All right, so yeah, we'll do that next. Uh, yeah, let's go jangly. Jangly, single attack. 26 against e Yak. Yep. Yes. All right. Good. <laughs> you deserve to get hit. Ooh, 16 points of acid damage. Oh. Oof. Oh, excuse me, 18. Get that plus two to damage, bro. Okay. Damage. Almost, into my, almost into my hit points. Okay, wow. okay, all right. Let's see if we can keep these, uh, your friends uh, harried. We're gonna do four more attacks on Linnea here to start. Oh, good luck. Went well last time. Well, uh, I, you don't have the minus two anymore. I don't, let's see if I need it. All right. Go minus four, but it gets a plus two, so cumulative minus two. Here we go. First attack. 22 against EAC. Miss. Ooh. Ooh. Second Impressive. attack. 29 against EAC, sucker. What's the hit? <laughs> sucker. Ooh. Max damage. 10 points of acid damage. That's no, your wait. max damage? Yeah, acid damage. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that is so cute, Troy. How dare you? What a cute little shade. <laughs> two more attacks. They chip away. Ooh, all right. Uh, it's going to be close. Tweener, 25 against EAC? 25 is my EAC. Okay. Man, that's that a one's... really good EAC. That's yeah. low damage. That's going to be seven points of acid. Uh, all Final right. attack also hits with a 26, and that's going to be eight points of acid. So three out of four, just like Meatloaf said, because three out of four ain't bad. Now listen, yep. you can mock my damage, but that shit adds up. That's seven hits across two rounds against your shitty little character. Yeah, so, but what happens when your shitty little shades are dead? Then they won't deal any damage. Well, and that's going to happen uh, in the next she's got two you rounds. There. She's got you there, man. Wait, what Wait. did the, the, the jangly man also does acid damage? The uh, liquid disintegrator pistol does acid damage. Uh, they're just an acid, acidy type of group. Yeah, he but he's staggered. Shouldn't That's the pistol like do that. less damage? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense. The acid isn't as strong without his strength. <laughs> uh, let's do two attacks against Callum. You're flanked, so I'm going to take my flank bone. Uh, miss on the first one, poop salad. And then the second one, miss as well. A two and a three. Can't Callum's touch this. just got, your Ooh. you got the golden Ooh. touch tonight. Uh, and then Qualo also flanked, two attacks. Qualo's taking a crit. I'm actually unflankable, one. Troy, so take away that flanking bonus. Oh. 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 Nice. That's awesome. That's still going to be a 25 against EAC. Uh, that's a hit. All right, oh, that's going to be. Max damage, 10 points of acid damage with that plus two from the improved get him. Oh. 10 points of acid followed by a second attack, which is also a hit with a natty 16. 
another max damage, 10 more points of acid damage. So that's 20 points of acid against Ooh. Paula. Not Sorry, good. I yelled. Uh, not good. So uh, while you guys are up there smoking cigars on the bridge, uh, Koala and Kreska are uh, almost down into their H. <clears throat> Pizzle! We're the real heroes. <laughs> Look at this. Qualo and Kreska fighting together up at the up at the real dangerous uh, spot. So beautiful. See, this is how it's <laughs> going to come back together. Let's find out what happens right after this word from our sponsor. Oh. 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 <laughs> A sponsor is water. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say we have sponsors. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yes. vitamin D. That's why Troy's yes. been That's showing right. the bottle all the camera. He's in the pocket on with the vitamin D. Anti-Swedish <laughs> movement this week uh, for all your anti-Swedish needs. I don't understand Ellie. why you're attack- antagonizing the country and not just me because because you like- represent the country, Ellie. <laughs> no, no, everything you do represents your homeland. What about your small Lundquist? little village? Yeah, what about Henrik Lundqvist, <laughs> who point? unfortunately is no longer on the New York Rangers? Yeah, fuck the Rangers. Go Bruins. Oh. Yeah, I said it. Oh. Sorry, Lundqvist, you a fan of androids and aliens? <laughs> he might be. You, he might be. I follow him on Instagram even though he's no longer a New York Ranger because I don't want to unfollow the man just because he had to go somewhere else for his career. That guy plays the Avalanche. So kind, you never Matthew. know his name. Don't say anything about Peter Forsberg. <laughs> I would never, Skid. I would never. Henry Glenquist <laughs> said he'll work for the Rangers after retirement, so he'll be returning, Matthew. So don't unfollow ever. He'll be cleaning the bathrooms at Madison Square Garden. <laughs> it's Qualo's turn. Qualo, let's start with some... Oh, no, you don't take any burn damage. Let's just start with your turn. Okay, so you see all of the forms, the different Qualos that I described in the previous term, coalesce as solar acceleration takes form. What? Every one of my allies, up to six what? of them, in fact but I only have five, within 30 feet are affected by haste. So Question. Every- oh. The jangly man used to be your ally. Does he get haste? No, no, no. <laughs> good. No. That's a good question. No, it's, it's, it's current <laughs> allies. It says in the text. How about David? a D100 roll? D100 roll? <laughs> David? Uh, so everyone can David? check up check haste, and I am able to full attack as a standard action now, so I can move and full Ooh. attack. What uh, just ooh. happened to your character in this round? My God, so you just gave everyone haste mm-hmm. and you could do a full attack as a Sandoni? It's true. I love what that. What happened? Well, that is you, the, can, you can move as part of a full attack action. That was the lesson learned last week. So effectively, it's like a standard action, but you can only full attack and move. Yeah, that's. I, did I, what was the distinction that I messed up? You just said full attack as a standard, but that's yeah. different. That, same result. This is the same Bad result. Way though, right? of explaining, and All unfortunately, right. I will take it away from you because you explained it poorly. <laughs> it is now Callum's turn. It's not. That's not my turn. That wasn't a standard action. I know. I'm kidding. Just go ahead. Got it. Here it comes. <laughs> Just having a good time. Uh, that is going to be a twenty to hit the shade in front of Callum. Ooh, you're throwing shade. That's a hit. Right here it comes. Oh, that's good. Uh, that is Ooh. going to be 34 points of damage. Oh, Ooh, a solid 17. You got it in you? You got ah, it in you to hit him again? On. It's got to be Ooh, big. Out of the box, out of the box, out of the box. Ooh, the old out of the box. Three, natural three for a total of a oh, no. 15. No, no, oh, that will no. not hit. That will not hit. Thanks. But it is Dax's turn. Dax, you feel hasted all of a sudden by, what is it, the solar energy coming off of your body? Solar acceleration, yeah. It's basically, wow. uh, yeah, the photons are now affecting those around me, and they have so much latent energy or, or active energy inside of them that it is speeding everyone up with haste. David, do you know how haste Actually, works in Starfinder? You can have the way. Up? Oh, no, 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 no. We're good. <laughs> David, please explain haste to everyone. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, and it doesn't matter that I'm not in line of sight or that I'm pretty far away from you. Like, it's all within range and we're all good. I, I defer to David. I don't see anything about line of sight in there. It just says all up to six alleys within 30 feet are affected by haste. Yeah, then you're good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sure. I'm 40, I'm 40 feet off. away. So. Oh, then you're not. So yeah, no, okay. yes, but uh, all right, easy enough. Figured that. Okay, oh. so um, why, why why not just make a new spell? 
Like, that's just <laughs> confusing. If it doesn't act in any way, if it doesn't in any way resemble the haste in, this, in the adjacent system, why not just make a new spell? Call it fast. Oh wait, yeah, I looked up haste. Is it is it not I cast the same? fast. I call you can cast slow. <laughs> yeah, it is it is unnecessarily confusing for people that made the jump from Pathfinder to Starfinder. Because there's just a lot of mistakes like that you make on the assumption that, oh, it's gotta be like Pathfinder haste. No, it's actually completely different for no reason. <laughs> well the one reason I don't well, okay, whatever. Uh let's not get into it. Quick like quick question. I, I mean, David, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's never three attacks, right? Like in terms of if you don't have dual weapons or whatever, um, I mean, or you don't have so that many feat other things or too. another appendage. There are special abilities. There's like I, I've had stuff. some monsters that have three attacks, but yeah, generally no. But then, like Matthew's saying, just call it something different. Mm. Like the way it affects the, your the way you can you, your target the way it targets your allies is different. Just call it a different just call it a different name. Yeah, or just, call it a hasty circuit. That's there it. We go. <laughs> it's downright <laughs> hasty. What were you gonna say, Grant? <laughs> Um, did I take my corrosion damage? Do I need to take corrosion damage? Is no, that selective? Okay, sorry you about that. You passed the reflect. Like, yeah. Right. Um, so the shade next to Linnea, that's just on the other side of the door. Do I have a clean shot at that? Um, not as clean as Friss had. No, you'll, t- you'll t- get a... Oh, no, no, yeah, I'm sorry. I thought you were shooting at Linnea. Do you want to shoot Linnea? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you have a clean shot. Uh, okay, then I, I, I'm i going to intend to stay and take two shots. Uh, okay. So... Finally. So let's. What are your intentions this. with my shade? My intentions. <laughs> I'll to take two. Here we go. First shot. Excuse me, son. What are your intentions? With my shade. Four, Fourteen to hit EAC. Uh, big old miss. Big old. And juicy second shot. Miss. Natural twenty. Oh. oh. But At it, the G C P. They're immune. They're immune. Uh, yeah, all right, immune that crits, is but... uh, thirty points of damage. So fifteen. 15. Of Man, that would have been 60 if they could take crits, which would have been 30, which may have been enough. Unfortunately, it isn't. It's still up. And Ugh. it is Callum's turn. Callum, Come on, you're, a bit of a, you're a bit of a Herschel Walker this episode. Explain. I don't know. Okay. Workhorse? Okay. I don't know. Um, strong. Disappointment? <laughs> oh, oh. Well. <laughs> you were part of a of right. adjectives. You were in part of one of the Walker. most lopsided trades in history. Georgia Bulldog? Um, all right. I'm confused about their Olympic attacks. Olympic bomber slaughter? cowboy? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to find out how to make this work. What yeah, draft think pick on was it. Herschel Walker skin? He was an MVP. He was number one I wanted overall. to say that you were a <laughs> trophy that winner. He was number one overall draft pick. You picked such an obscure MVP to call me, but I'm fine. It's fine. No. It's good. <laughs> he was MVP. Um, okay, won, uh, I believe you. Is Herschel um, Walker obscure see, now? Oh God! He, no, no, I just see kids, that context. kids today. They don't. They don't know the the greats. Well, it's, a little was... em- it's a little embarrassing, Troy, if you have to explain the joke, just so you know. Well, I'm sorry that you were born in 1992, but that joke's <laughs> funny to all of our listeners. Uh, I'm actually, hey, Troy, I'm actually not even that old. I wasn't born in 1992. <laughs> you got to go. <laughs> Troy was freaking hopping the, the train at BC in 1992. Oh, Smoking brother. butts in 92. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> doing cocaine with hookers in 93? <laughs> I mean, me too, but it was just different. Um, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> that was how you were conceived. Joking. Okay. Anyway, uh, can you, before I do this, Troy or David, if I move, are, do they get attacks of opportunity, the shades? I'm confused how their attacks of opportunity work. Yes, everyone gets a reaction, um, unless the rules state otherwise. And one of the things that provokes an attack of opportunity is moving out of a threatened space. But I can take a guarded step. You can take a guarded step, yep. However, if you try to cast a spell, that is another thing that would trigger a reaction from them. Or if you want to shoot a ranged weapon, trigger a reaction. And I want to add something else I messed up. And this is a funny Starfinder thing, which is you provoke, right? We got that right. But if you take any amount of damage, you lose the spell. And I think we messed that up before, Ooh, possibly yeah. when you were hurling your force discs. Oh, and you such. mean that game changing force yeah, discs yeah, that would have yeah, uh, well. not happened? I still want to speak up though, when I mess wow. up. It's important. Wait, wow. You no, mean I like when I, hit, it. when I hit your jangly man with an attack of opportunity and that didn't affect his turn at all either? All right, we're even then. Fine. <laughs> he, wait, he doesn't cast spells though. Yeah, he doesn't oh. cast spells. Stop yeah. saying he casts spells. And, He's an and, envoy. And you think room. Matt casts spells? If Matt casts spells, she'd be alive. <laughs> yes, Grant. Yes, Grant. Sydney, just remember at the bottom of the just regular touch attack spells, they often say does not provoke attack or opportunity. So keep an eye out for that. 
Because you might not need to provoke or uh, provoke an act, attack of opportunity while well, you Well, here's... I wanted to just move out of the way, so I was wondering with the haste, whatever I have now, haste circuit thing, um, if I take a guarded step and then I do a full movement out of range of the shades, can I then cast my spell? No, you, I can't. You, you will no, provoke. because yeah. the guarded step is a move, and then the haste mm. gives you an extra 30 feet of movement. So you can it move a lot give me. further on your move. However, even if you take a guarded step, you're still going to be in a threatened square. Yeah. Understood, understood. Okay. It's like yeah, doing a I'm double gonna, move. Yeah, I'm just going to stay where I am. Um, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a cool, like, scissor kick in the air with my legs. Like, again, Avatar with the last airbender. I'm just going to, like, kick around. Another, per, another force disc. I'm just going to go for it again. Yay. All right, first I'm going to do the attack of opportunities to make sure you lose that spell. So. No, wait. Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. It's done. Not going to let oh. it happen twice. Uh, uh, that's going to be a 24 to hit. That just hits. Fuck me. All right, you lose your spell. Ugh. All right, wait, and okay. And you take... 10 points of damage. Okay, Second yep. attack of opportunity is a miss. 10 points of acid damage. Uh, Take okay. your spell and shove it up your All 1993. Right. Now, now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm younger than that. I'm younger. Oh no. Wow. Oh, God. All right. do, you have, do you have work papers? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even her. Okay, so I you used a fake working? ID to get this job. We Sue have, me. We have Sydney crawl behind our spinning Jenny. <laughs> She's almost lost her hand several times. <laughs> My God. Please let me give, out of the, gonna, the coal mines. Please, sir. I'm going to give the lawyers a call and be like, <laughs> so it's possible that we contracted a 15-year-old to we're work not, for us. Is that, is that a problem? Sure. We're not sure, and she won't tell us. She we we paid her in Swedish fish and pop rocks. That was our first clue. <laughs> That, she seems uh, eager for it. I don't know. Mistake. She likes it. <laughs> well, you hired me, Joe. Remember, and I gave you my green card that expired in 2015. Oh, anyway. I know. I, and I was, I was so scared. I was like, I think she's supposed to get deported. <laughs> like I didn't know. She sent me a photocopy, and I was like. It's expired years ago. Are you even allowed in the country? <laughs> you and the ice? call that I made to INS was something that every ice. American should do. <laughs> oh man! I wanted to be safe. Uh, okay, wait. Pause. All right. D i l o r e n z o. Yes, I must. I think she's here illegally. <laughs> she's trying to work for our company. Yes. Yes, I, I'm pretty sure she has drugs. <laughs> and what do you do for a living, sir? I'd rather not say. <laughs> I'd rather not say. <laughs> Sorry, Cindy. Please. No, no. Um, okay, so I, I lost my spell. Now I'm gonna move, and I'm okay. gonna go. I'm gonna open this door and go into this room. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Oh, this is so uh, cool. Yeah, you can get that. You can open the door. Is the action? You won't be able to move into the room because the opening of the door is another action. In fact, okay. yeah, you can't, you even, can't open even open the door. The door. <laughs> yeah. You can just move into that spot, and then you still need another action to open the door. What is haste good for? What does this do for me at In all? I mean, quality, nothing. I nothing. I appreciate all. it. And we like to call it quick. <laughs> Okay. Quick and Starfinder. I think it's quick. designed specifically to help non-magic users. That makes sense. You can also nothing really, for casters, right? You can really, really hightail it 60 feet. It's a maneuverability yeah. thing. That's hugely oh, useful. Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. You, could, you know what? Yeah. Okay, okay. In that case, I'm, on, I'm honestly, fuck the door. I'm just going to move out of the way. I'm going all the way over here, so bye. Show me where you're going. Yep. That will provoke again <laughs> from no, the it, guy next to Qualo. No, it so won't. Let me just roll that out real quick. See if you get out of there. Wait, uh, I does think it? you're okay. Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a 21 against CAC? No. no. All right. Oh, excuse me, against EAC? No. All right. <laughs> I said no. Callum gets <laughs> out of there with only 10 points of acid damage. And now it is Kreska's turn. So the Jangland just has a, has a pistol in his hand, right? A laser pistol? He sure does. And he's no right. longer staggered. Uh, okay, I am not going to concentrate on my psychokinetic strangulation. Instead, I'm going to need you to roll, you know, just the classic will save. All right. Are you doing something mental that doesn't provoke? I'm doing a mind thrust. What's he going to provoke with what? His pistol that he can't take or an attack of opportunity with? <gasps> <Sassy. gasps> Do you, you hear the way he talks to me? Do you hear the way he talks? Do you can talk to your parents <laughs> like that? <laughs> the aggression tonight. I can feel the hair coming through Skype. 
<laughs> All right, what am I doing? I've got seven computers here. I kept moving the mouse on one trackpad. I'm like, why is it not moving? Oh, it's this trackpad. Uh, all right, what, what kind of save? Will. You jerk. Oh, Will, huh? <laughs> How's a 24 grab you? That's fine. Uh, you pass, but you still take half damage. And I just Son rolled two tens on a d10. Let me roll the second one. Oh, oh, come on. All right, so that's going to be 28 points of damage, half. You take 14 points of damage. That's not force damage? No, it's mental uh, anguish. Men mental anguish, so <laughs> 28 total, 14 halved. Yes. You know what it's mental anguish. Yes, you, the, <laughs> the fibers of your brain are screaming in pain. Um, and then I will take a five-foot step to kind of uh, open, up the, open up a lane for Qualo should he want to get in. Uh, Look at you. And now I know that your provoke does pretty good damage. Wow, I really thought you were a shitty character, but they've made things a little bit more difficult. You know what? I've decided. Let's take it to round four. It is Linnea's turn. Linnea, you've taken a lot of hits. Yeah. How you looking? How you feeling? I, I, yeah, I, I'm, this might be the dumbest thing I ever do. But since we got the haste... I'm gonna, and, and, uh, Sidney Callum took all the attacks of upper. No, wait, that was last round. Yeah. Yes, yeah. new round. No. New round, new you. Uh, well, then that screws. Then, then. Isn't it really, what? don't they get a reaction act back when it's their turn? I, I've started this thing where it's just new round, new, new set of reactions. All right. Oh, how convenient. So I'm just Here, this thing here's my, here's my issue Disadvantages the players. <laughs> and, and, and I know it's, it's irritating, but let me, let me just throw this out there. It's their turn. They take a reaction later in the round. Then it's a right. new round and it's another reaction before their turn again. Doesn't right. that seem against the spirit of the rules? Well, here's uh, the thing. This is how we've done it rules. and no one has ever really fought me on it. If you'd like to talk about it moving forward, I'm happy to do we it. We never talk. We talk about it all, the time. all the time. You <laughs> do it weird. Like it's, it's, in the, it's in the rule book. <laughs> it is. It's well, a, uh, it, we should no, no, certainly sorry. discuss this book? next encounter. Uh, you regain your reaction at the start of your turn. Yep. Well, at the start, well, of, your start turn. of your turn. Yeah. You, oh, so, fine. Not the top so of the yeah. round. Right. Uh, so after this encounter, I will consider <laughs> making a change. <laughs> <laughs> well, but then I'm freaking. He, stuck. he knew he was doomed as soon as he said, "It's the way we've always done it." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. And he's like always done it. Like I've never, I've never had this conversation. But Ellie, why do you up, why do you want to move out of there? I thought they weren't doing a whole lot of damage to you. Yeah, so I thought you, you were fine. fine. I thought yeah. that you. Every you single Joe, 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 why Those are last you, why 14 are you times that on? I hit you. No, because I actually happen to know how badass you are, and I don't fear for you at all. You're going to be fine. Uh, that's, yeah. I think so, too. But, you um, worried but you're going to get is, lit up by these guys? No, I'm not. But I do think, um, like, taking out the, the boss, like, if, if you guys haven't been in a gang fight, then you don't know this, but you take out the leader. That's how you that's Is that how, how they you taught it. you on the mean streets of Uppsala? <laughs> Yes. In fact, yes. In fact, yes. Walking around, punching bullies with bags of Swedish cheese. <laughs> Swedish cheese, ew. Swedish Give me your chocolates. Yeah. Well, still Switzerland, Joe. Anyways. Yes, every time. I'll do it every time. Oh, they have yep. chocolate in Sweden. Anyway. They don't have any chocolate in Sweden. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, my meat? idea was to use the haste. Oh, God, that's good. <laughs> yeah, use your, anyway, use your my haste. idea was to use the haste to move up and take out down the leader, but now I'm just gonna stay here and I'm actually gonna take out this damn one of these, these shades at least. Do something. Um, yeah. Well. Stop here he comes, talking then. about it. Here's here's my. Oh God, I'm not gonna. Which one do you I'm want to attack? The westernmost one or the southernmost one? The west. The western. Go west. When in go down. west, young Ellie. West. There we not go. Not as young as oh. Sydney. Yeah, not as young. <laughs> But unfortunately, uh, get cast as 12 year olds anyway. Uh, another natural 18, which is pretty good. Are we still shaking, hit. by the way? Uh, yes. Okay. But a natural well, 18, you're fine. Give me that sweet, sweet damage, Linnea. Sweet damage. Here it comes. And then I'll have it. Oh, that's going to be, deep, be uh, 26 points of damage. Halved is 13. It has 12 hit points left. You have to yeah. kill Yes. Oh, shit. Can I take my second second attack then on the one that's uh, south of me? What do you think, David? Should I let her? Yeah. All right, go for it. 
Oh, you're so nice. You're so kind. Thank you for letting me do follow the rules. You know. I'm a giver. Ooh, another natural 17. So I think that's gonna hit too. Yeah, we're fine even with the minus two. Um, give me that damage. 24 points. So 24. So 12 points of damage. All right, all right. You're hanging in there. You're doing all right. The jangly man has been stymied, and Kreska is holding her own against him. But before he gets to go again, it is Dr. Friss's turn. Dr. Friss. Friss is going to take a guarded step over to the door, look around, see Linnea fighting this other shade, take a stealth roll, shaken as I am, nail it, and squeeze off another shot. Bink! Uh, Natty 18. Beautiful. That's a big old hit. That's a good 26 one. points that one. of damage. 13 points of e of uh, fire damage. 13 points of fire damage. All right, that guy's still doing pretty good. It is the jangly man's turn. And Kreska, I'm not going to lie, you really uh, changed my plan here. I like doing that. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. Um... Oh. And that move you made there was inspired because now any uh, guarded step still provokes. It's a Queen's like it. Gambit. It really is. Let me mm. check out this dude's acrobatics. Maybe I can try to avoid that A-O-O. Oh, yeah. What's the DC of this, John? Uh, one and a half times your level. Or is it CAC plus eight? It's 15 plus one and a half times. Yeah, right. CR, yep. All right, so what's your uh, one and a half times your... I don't know what level you guys are. Uh, It's going to be... Yeah, so 28 is the DC. 28 is the DC? All right. Yep. Got this. Natty 19. Get out of here, Kreska. (laughs) What's your acrobatics? Plus 16. Oh, Oh, shit. That's better than Lena. He really is jangly. (laughs) He is jangly. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do one of these. Shut up. Uh, Uh, What are you thinking? No, it's... One of the issues, though, is you are moving. Don't you have to roll mul- multiple times because there's multiple threatened spaces that you're moving through? Mm-hmm. Do you have to? Uh, I'm, <laughs> I mean, you don't have to technically, but yes, he has. You know, no, I didn't know. Is, like, because like, oh, yeah, if I, I move there, okay, boom, I made that one without provoking. But well, then so moving use, here would provoke. You can use against. acrobatics to move through a space threatened by an enemy or enemies without provoking attacks from them. All right. right, and then you move half speed, and then uh, to move through an opponent's threatened area, if multiple opponents threaten the same space, blah, blah, blah. You must succeed at a, a check for each space if you attempt okay. to move through multiple yeah, there threatened you go. spaces. Yeah. All right, I'm feeling pretty confident with my plus 16. Uh, natty 17. So, mm. natty 19, natty 17. He's just going to do one of these and actually get over... Uh, half speed was 5, 10, 15. Is he a 30? Yeah. Yep. All right. So that's all you can do. Great. So that's my move, you bastard. And then I'm going to keep that improved get him going. I'd love to go clever faint, but I think it's better to give everybody that plus two to damage and to hit. So, you, And you won't be able to get Dax because it is 60 feet for what it's worth. You oh, you know what, else. though? Yeah, and actually, that was my... Because I burned resolve points during Starship Combat, I am out of resolve, so I cannot uh, give everybody the benefits against all enemies. Uh, I, oh, they only get benefits against Kreska, so it might be better just to do my Clever Faint. Yeah, I'm going to do Clever Faint. I'm going to try it. Here we go. Uh, shit on a shingle. I didn't get it. All right, so that's fine. It just means that Kreska is flat-footed, but no one else is. Until uh, the end of, end of your next turn. Right. Um, in case the shades switch targets to you. All right, here we go. Uh, this is just going to be a straight-up attack. I get your flat-footed liquidator disintegrator pistol! 26 EAC? Yes. Ooh. All right. Come on, big high roller. 13 points of Acid damage. (sighs) You're into my HP. Oh, Oh, man. I can feel it. I'm into your HP. (laughs) I've been into so many people's HP lately. Mm. I don't like this guy. Yeah, what a slut. 
Wait, what was the original thing you said for Dangly Man about the thighs? I am the Dangly <laughs> Man, and I'm going to touch your thighs. <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, all right, it is I the Shade Spawn's turn. Uh, let's do two attacks on Linnea. The Linnea, the untouchable. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't get the bone. Nope. So it's just going to be a straight up minus four. Yeah, 17 against EAC misses. Mm-hmm. And then, ooh, uh, 26 against EAC. Yeah, it hits. Oh, does it? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, are they? Uh, seven points of acid damage. <laughs> Every time it's so like lackluster. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> wow. I just don't understand. Like, I would just never do that. <laughs> I know, but like. I would never intentionally antagonize Troy. I'm, I'm glad you're doing it because it pulls focus, but I would mm-hmm. never do it. Yeah, but that's You've the taken thing, no like... less than like 70 points of damage from these guys. It, it adds yeah. up. I know, like, oh, three, ha ha ha, four, ha ha ha. What is your hit point total down? Be honest. Uh, Hit point or stamina? While I uh, do four attacks on Qualo. <gasps> Natty 19 on the first one, Qualo. What's the total true? No, I'm kidding. That's hit. Five <laughs> points of acid. Okay. Uh, and then the second attack, correct die. Uh, I think that's another hit. Uh, and a minus four is 25 EAC. That hits. That one is going to be uh, six points of acid. And okay. then the other one, oh, I'm not even adding the, the plus two flanking, so uh, that's a hit for... Because you uh, cannot uh, against me. Yeah, exactly. I'm that's right, I'm sorry. Okay, well, I rolled another, the same the same thing I rolled that time that was a hit, so that is eight points of acid. Okay. And then the final attack, Natty 19, another fucking oh, hit, so geez, four man. hits. Uh, and that's five points of acid. Uh, Linnea, how many points of damage have you taken since the beginning of this combat? Be honest. Be uh, honest. 70, oh, that's oh that was the math you wanted to me to all right one second yeah what were you <laughs> uh, doing I, I did you just so much math eight, while you were sitting there my total eight, I've taken sixty seven points of them that's nothing to shake a stick at Callum be dead if Callum yeah. got hit by sixty seven <laughs> points <laughs> no more Mountain Dew for Callum and I need my uh, Mountain Dew so please don't uh Qualo you into your HP nope no don't forget Qualo one resolve point. I know you guys are feeling pretty confident here, but your good friend Koala would like to make it out of this alive. Dax, you're up. Uh, Dax is going to... Oh, this is going to be so sweet. Dax is going to reach up and touch the necrograft that he purchased on Eox. Oh! And and give himself haste. Oh! Oh, there you go. Also giving himself undead, uh, the undead subtype. Uh, And I did all the math in the 45 minutes since my last turn. (laughs) And he is going to move to here in one move action. Wait, so you get all the way up to... uh where the jangling man is, and you don't provoke? Did those no, all those guys? He provokes the whole way. He's just like <laughs> running down this hallway because uh, he's just like enough of this shade nonsense. I'm um, going I for believe, the big guy. Point of order, I believe a bunch of those shades already took their attack of opportunity. I don't think they did because no, it's that was, the same. Yeah. Linnea didn't do what she was going to do. So I meant against Callum, but I forgot we weren't playing by the rules. Oh, <laughs> how dare you? They've acted. It's they, they still have their attack of opportunity. All right, so three attacks of opportunity. Let's just see what happens. Attacks of opportunity. Uh, first one's a miss. Beautiful. Second one's a hit. Four. Man, I wish I had that improved get him on. What was the total? You really want me to do that? All right. 31. Well, I just can't believe the range on these guys. <laughs> what, you roll a D30? I'm rolling rocks. I'm rolling a 19. Uh, seven points of acid damage. And okay. then the final one... Misses. Ooh. Beautiful. I'll take it. Uh, so, now can I move that crazy amount of movement and still take a full attack action with haste? Yes. Yep. I mean, yeah. yeah, the way it's written. Ugh. All wow. right. So, this, so, it really is different. So, yeah. yeah. You can take a separate move in order to move uh, before, after, or between the attacks of your full attack action. 
Okay. Oh, so point blank range, you're going to fire my dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fire, and I am going to fire twice. Um, but I don't know if he's how much higher his EAC is than these guys. Probably a lot higher, but I don't know. Uh, I haven't Look been at paying that enough attention has, to him yet. See the liquid disintegrator pistol? That's it. Right in his uh, hand. <laughs> okay, here we go. Two shots. First shot, natural three. Second shot, natty 19. Oh. There you go. For a 30 against EAC. No, that's not a 30. It's uh, four less than that. 26 against EAC. Okay. I'm sure 26 hits, right? Yep. Uh, and that's going to be good, solid damage. 27 points of nice. uh, electricity and fire damage at the same fire! time. All right. Hell of an attack. You moved <laughs> extremely far. Really showing look, look off the... Out, uh, Captain. Uh, and he walks past Kreska, try to become the target of this guy's ill will. Yeah. Well, you know that uh, Kreska is down into her HP, so Dax boldly steps up, uh, perhaps to take the brunt of the jangly man's attacks. I just His love, like, as a blitz soldier, how fast he can, like, run using yeah. haste. Like, just like, <laughs> like this freakish android speed. That's like so some fun. Phantom Menace Jedi stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. You really I feel I, the... I robot, just like super fast yeah. and freaky yes, looking. That's more it, City. Is I robot is yeah. a great example. Those cybernetic boosts really come into play there. Uh, all right, Sydney, what are you thinking about Callum here? Yeah, Callum once again now out of range of all the stupid freaking opportunity attacks and reactions is going to last airbender himself again, uh, hands together, and forms out of the air a uh, giant disc of force. And he is going to toss it directly down the corridor at the shade that is in front of Qualo and in front of Callum. Okay. And then from there, it's going to bounce to the other two shades. So let's do this one first. Okay. And you don't need to see them, right, David? Nope. Okay. Just the Roll first target. to hit. Oh, that one might not hit. Hold on. That's a 14 to hit. Get oh. that shit out of here. That's like throwing okay. up a ball and I just swat it on your face. It's all right. It's Ooh. swoosh, you know, passes through the shade. The magic Shwa. couldn't quite connect, but it's going to the next one. Shwa. Uh, that, yeah, that's a 20 to hit, nat, uh, not nat. Nice. Okay, that is a hit. All this sweet force damage is going to go straight through. That's only five points of damage. Ooh. Brutal. Roots. I Brutal, think not, not rolling good damage. No, my damage oh, die was not How many great. d6 were that? Just two. Just two. Yeah, not great. And then the last Gross. one, the third one. Yeah. That is also going to miss. Oh, oh. you should have used that f first four assist, the one that you threw illegally. <laughs> that one did uh, a lot more damage last week than this one. Uh, Callum's <laughs> hasn't had enough Mountain Dew. He goes, do you think there's... He goes to Chris, go, hey, do you think they got Mountain Dew on this ship? Because we don't have any more, and I feel like I need more. Oh, God. Tommy no, Chris is covered in blood. Yeah. Okay, Chris uh, are back. you busy? <laughs> Spitting up blood. Are yeah. you busy right now? Yeah, let me check my primary action items. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, that falls a little below priority. I wasn't asking you, Dax, but thank you. I Chris, was doing Kreska. Oh. <laughs> that was my Kreska. That's good, Kreska. That's good. Kreska, you're up. How you doing with HP here? How many how many points of damage have you taken? Uh, five. You're into five of your HP, okay? I've taken five points of hit point damage. I mean, did we skip Qualo? Qualo, did you go? I have not gone since the last time I oh, went. Oh, I'm so sorry. I went right to Dax. I think oh. Joe just jumped it and was so excited about his haste. He what? skips your turn. You Joe literally apologize. said, Dax, apologize you're up. Apologize to Grant. You know what, Grant? I'll apologize for you. Joe, Thank sorry. You. I appreciate <laughs> sure. it. You get your action. Uh, tell Joe I accept his apology for me, Troy. I'll text him. Okay, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Qualo is going to... Uh, you move at half speed when tumbling through to avoid attacks of opportunity, correct? Yes. Uh, so When using acrobatics. Uh, yep. So, uh, which is uh, tumbling. Uh, so... Qualo, even, uh, even while tumbling to avoid opportunities, <laughs> will have enough movement speed to be able to attack the jangly man. Uh, so you let me know how many... It's one threatened square. Yeah. Two threatened squares, three threatened squares. Um, so I guess I'll take so three separate rolls to do that? 
Yep, well, and it's going to be DC uh, 15 plus one and a half, so plus seven, so 22. DC 22 three times. Okay, here it comes. I'm didn't they roll. all roll, though, against Dax? Or did they go since then? Oh, they oh, all no, went. Yeah. Same right. round, they've all taken it, yeah. Ooh, okay. Technically, yeah. that should have been against Qualo, because Qualo <laughs> would have went first. So, uh, uh, yeah, so Qualo, you can just go. Okay, so in that, when he gets to the other end, he's going to say, you won't get away this time, Captain, and he'll take a full attack. With flashing strikes, Oh uh, no! that is going to be a 24 to hit. 24 nice. is a hit. Excellent. Nice. Nice! Uh, ooh, nice. Uh, 12, 14... That is going to be 32 points of damage on the first attack. Ooh. All yeah. right, so gotcha. you hit him with that first attack, and he stumbles back against <gasps> the wall. And you hit him so hard, he stumbles back, he turns back to look at you, and he's just got like a smear of blood going across his face all the way to his chest that includes the damage that Kreska and Dax did to him. And he just like, for the first time, actually makes eye contact with you. And it's like, and he sees you're coming in for that second attack. He's like, Misatro, just let me live. Let me flee and I'll, I'll give you credits. For old time's sake, just, just let me live. I can give you more credits than we ever saw back in our flying days. The jangly man knows. The jangly man knows where the money is. Come Shut on. up, Denali. Shut up now. You didn't show any mercy to the rest of the crew, and I won't to you. Wham! Brings ah! down the ultra thin oh, nanite longsword wow. on him. Qualo is so badass. Yes. You shot everyone out of that ship. They had no chance to live. I was the only one that could, you bastard. <laughs> Damn it out of the box. 19 on the die. Excellent. Oh my god. You see, and the thing is, like, yeah, it's Qualo, but this is actually what happens when you cross Grant. Yeah, this that's, is true. Well, that's true. Very <laughs> dangerous. He's furious and then he destroys you physically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that'll be 16 on the base die, 31 plus. <sighs> Uh, three will be 34 points of damage. In that flashback, we saw that you and the crew had a bit of a disagreement. They were like, just listen to him. You saw what he did to so-and-so. But I'm sure you had a relationship with those crew members. I'm sure you liked them and you knew what he did to them. And now you have avenged their death because you have killed the jangly man. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Squalo! As it the was meant man. to be. And his, his shell's just <sighs> undulating as he's like letting all the battle fury and pressure. Like, you know, you get an adrenaline rush when you get in a fight in general, but when it's against someone you have all this history with, he is just overwhelmed with just like emotion and it feels gross as it's leaving him. He doesn't feel satisfied at killing him, even though in the moment he felt he had to. The force of the strike sends the jangly man's corpse back against the wall and then he just slumps down, eyes open, still staring at you as the lights go out. Listen, it's mop-up duty, but we've all seen mop-up duty can sometimes be just as dangerous as the fight itself. <laughs> it is Kreska's um, turn. Respectfully disagree, and the rule book says you can just end the encounter. <laughs> <laughs> you said it yourself earlier in this. Room. What level are you guys? <laughs> we are level nine. Well, let's do Kreska's turn. <laughs> All right. Kreska is going to, seeing the jangly man fall under Qualo's blow, is going to take a guarded step up, and then she's going to flick her fingertips forward and shoot out a blast of force in a 30-foot cone, which should Ooh. exclude Callum and hit oh, every beautiful. one of the shades, um, but not Linnea. Oh, thank so God. Very please nice. roll a reflex save. For all of them? Nice. Yep. Wow, where were you? He was saving this one, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, they're, all, they, they're, they're all in with my allies. 19 for the first one, 19 for the second one, and uh, 12. Okay, so the, only the final one fails. So it's four points of damage to the two that passed, eight points to the one that failed, and now I attempt to bull rush all three of them. Whoa. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> bull rush a shade? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> yes, from the force. So I'm going to roll a caster level plus my key ability score modifier uh, to, uh, to do a, a single bull rush, and I compare it against all of your KACs plus eight. Okay. So this is a plus... Uh, I have a plus five wisdom, so this is going to be a plus 14 to my roll. 
Uh, that's going to be a 24 against their KAC plus 8, so I doubt that that works. Uh, it doesn't. However, it's cool enough to end the encounter because they <laughs> are <laughs> on a level now that they're not going to kill you. Dude. So you force blast, just lights them all up. The rest of you come in for mop-up duty, and the encounter is over. Oh, nice. <sighs> Troy, I'm proud of you. I gotta say, I'm proud of you. Yeah. Well, it's, in the, it's in the rule book, and we all know that I follow the rules exactly to the letter. Yeah, and I mean, I think this is a case where you definitely don't do it if they impart like a disease on a failed fortitude yeah. save or something like that, but like, this is not the case. Yeah, even a crit isn't gonna really hurt you, and uh, the jangly man being alive is what was gonna pose the biggest threat. So yeah, straight out of the rule book, when an encounter is over, you know it. That's why I said, take out the gang member. Or like yeah, you were right. You were right, Eleanor. I think True. I'm bottle cap, I would guess. Easy yeah, bottle, that's a bottle cap. cap. Yeah, exactly. Just I think, used uh, my experience from, uh, from my life and <laughs> applied it. Okay. What was your gang member name? Uh... Did you have a cool Spectacular Eagle. <laughs> Spectacular Eagle? Spectacular <laughs> Eagle? That's Wait, very wow. wordy. It's very what wordy. Was it in Swedish. <laughs> no, that was uh, we it we It was probably Spectacular Swe- Eagle. N- no, like <laughs> <laughs> we would use English. I mean, like we thought English was the coolest language, so I think that's probably what I would have chosen. <laughs> in, Spectacular like, eagle. Not translated. It sounds dumb in Swedish. You should have been the Cincinnati kid. Uh, <laughs> the Cincinnati well, that's kid. my that's my gang name here. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. is your rule twenty name. In the crypt, the, the Cincinnati kid. kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, the oh. shades have no gear on them. Uh, the jangly man, a quick search of him, you will see that he has Kasatha Microcord 3 that oh. has a haste circuit and infrared sensors on them. Oh, oh cool. Wow. Can you remove the haste circuit and insert it into something else? You can. I don't know. You can. You can. Yeah, David, yep. yeah. All right, yeah. It's hey, circuit and infrared sensors and a Kasatha Microcord 3. He has a liquidator disintegrator pistol, um, which actually first debuted in Book 2 of Dead Sons. That has two batteries. Um, actually, we'll say it just has one battery. He burned through the other one. And he also has a tactical spear. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, what makes it tactical? <laughs> It's just the way he uses it. Is it is it painted black, <laughs> and so it's like a stealth tactical spear? Like that's all it is. It's just a thin layer. Well, of it has the the block ability. What does yeah. the block ability do, David? Um, it's when you successfully strike someone with a melee weapon, uh, you get a plus one enhancement bonus to your AC afterwards. So you kind of oh, fend them off a bit. Yeah. That's what makes it tactical. Yeah. Um, can I, can I have that armor? Well, that's can a, I? That's a, that's an upgrade for me. It's not bad armor. Level eight nice. armor. But can you give me then your hay circuit? Wait, is it is it plus nine plus eleven? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I, I, Joe, I, you already have a hay circuit. Can you give the other one then to me? Uh, sure. You can oh, have the can... one that makes you undead when you use it. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. No, his no. hay circuit is grafted on his neck. Exactly. So you can give me the one that's in the Kasatha three thing. Okay. Or I can roll for it. No, 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 it's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, whatever. I just want to make sure we're doing it by the book. Because uh, it just, uh, the thing that confused me is on my sheet, it says the haste circuit is in my armor. Um, I, I don't know if I have two haste circuits. No, it's like grafted know. onto your actual skin. That, so that's you, what I you thought, You probably too, added it for, like, just because it was easier on yeah, the just to get it in there. Yeah, it's, okay. it's 10 minutes to move armor upgrades around with a... But it, does anyone else want to roll for the hay circuit? Because um, I already have infrared light and stuff. I would love to roll for the hay circuit. Right. I'll join in. Let's, okay. Ten. Nine. Fourteen. Nice. Nice. Whoa. There you go, nice. Eleanor. You go. Well won. I've been wanting that since forever. Uh, Friss said that he was checking the other bodies in that other room. Did Did he find anything? Nothing of import, no. Like minor weapons. They were a specialist. It was their science officer, their gunners, their engineer, uh, their pilot. You would assume the jangly man uh, killed all of them uh, and then uh, sent these shade spawns to try and take you out. Weakened you a little bit, but did not take you out. I can tell you right now, uh, 
if you do a full search of the ship, uh, there's... If they want to, if they want to. We do. Yeah, if you want to. I kick down every door. Fucking roll 20. Uh, there's your ship right there. Whoa. There's nothing of import on there um, whatsoever. They were uh, flying with very sparse equipment. Um, you could search it thoroughly, and like I said, you can find parts that could uh, you could use for build points next time you're in a station upgrading your ship. But there is really nothing of import. And you remember back to the... Uh, the android, uh, the android, the asteroid that you were searching. The only reason there was probably stuff in there because it looked like people left in a hurry. There's nothing here. This is a very utilitarian ship. They Can have I a roll to decker? see if they have Mountain yeah. Dew? Uh, <laughs> you search thoroughly and you find uh, what looks like Mountain Dew, but it's an off brand. Okay. Do, the Dew is spelled D O O. I try it. I'm going to roll to see if I like it. Mountain it doesn't no. taste like Mountain Dew. Bingo. It's, I got it's, shit, fucking it's shit soda. It's shit yeah, soda. I, pour, I open the airlock and throw it into space. It's devour a shit soda. You get pulled out and die. Okay. <laughs> wow, you really, you use the airlock for that, huh? huh? <laughs> incredibly dangerous. You risked all of our lives. It's I a trash can right here. Yeah. To get rid of the dew. I can't <laughs> believe you drank a devour a soda called Mountain Dew. <laughs> Spelled D-O-O. What'd you think it was? Uh, it was a picture of feces on the can. Oh, oh. Yeah. It, it, it tasted um, tastes like shit. Mm. So Literally. finish running a marathon. Grab a two. <laughs> are we um, are we yeah. heading back to the sh- to our ship? Or let's, yeah, let's let's salvage all we can, uh, and then maybe we can uh, set this set the auto destruct before Ooh, we go. Cool. Ooh, cool. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, and I'll tell you your build points when it becomes relevant. Um, but yeah, set the auto destruct. <laughs> and then go back to the ship. So Linnea is uh, assuming that uh, the Sunrise Maiden is a lot more luxurious than it might be, but she's going to be like, Howie, I'm famished. Would you be able to deliver some room service, um, some breakfast food, um, eggs and bacon, if that's possible? Uh, I think that's possible. Uh, Where should I deliver it to? um, My room, the one that I share with you. Oh, no, I can't do that. For that is my room. For that and is I don't my... <laughs> I don't want the stink of eggs in there. All right. How about how about the galley then? I, I promise suppose I suppose would... that common galley would be a fine place for those eggs. And bacon. Yes. How Toy, have you installed olfactory sensors? <laughs> yes, Captain. I've had a lot of downtime while you were exploring Istamak. <laughs> I can now smell and claim rooms as my own. <laughs> as you can see, I've even put a note on the sheet see. that says Howie's room. Howie's room. <laughs> I forgot can he to physically, add to Can he physically stop her, out. though? Can, can she try to open the door? It's locked. <laughs> can she try to jam it open? Like, not the other way. The opposite of jamming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't break the ship. Respect yeah. Howie, right, first so Dax here is just like, smash! Smash! She comes out armed, obviously very concerned. <laughs> Linnea, so, uh, what seems to be the problem? Are you under attack? No, I, I just, I, it seems to be something wrong with my door. Howie, the door is jammed. Is there a solution? Hello, Dax. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yes. He goes you, in and close you. Psh, his door closes, and then you just hear, you know, the dull tones of music. <laughs> Callum walks by with his bass. He's dragged on the ground. What's wrong? Uh, hey, Linnea, why are you standing out here? Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I feel like this never got solved. <laughs> and I'm, I just still don't have anywhere to sleep. <laughs> Oh, that's nowhere to sleep in the <laughs> ship. Oh, that's weird. Howie, uh, is there a room for uh, Linnea? Hello, Callum. Hi, Howie. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, Howie. Did you um? Did you? Were you able to to up to up the Mountain Dew in the fridge? I do not have those capabilities, Callum. Can you order them? You should probably be happy you have a room. Wait a second. And Wait stop a second. asking questions you don't want the answers to. 
All right, I'm Wait gonna go second. practice with Dax. What? This ship doesn't have like a replicator that you can like a 3D printer to mount and do. <laughs> Hologram my mount. Too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going Apparently to practice. Not. Good luck, Linnea. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Maybe with some of the build points we scrapped from the Singularity, we could uh, build a uh, 3D food and drink generator. <laughs> Captain, Mark, can we build a Neelix? Sorry. Yes, Howie. <laughs> Uh, please join me on the bridge when you have a moment. I've compiled a comprehensive view of the upcoming system. Very well. I'll invite the crew as well. Yes. We may, we may need all, to pilot somewhere, for instance. All of them? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, all Captain. Of them. You are the captain. <laughs> so, uh, Kreska hits the button that sounds the crew whistle. Yep, that's it. Play a little whistle. Uh, I gotta say, the uh, ever since we started this, uh, the Starship Combat so long ago, I just wanted like to get back to this point because the astronomy geek in me thinks that this is awesome. This yeah. like this system and the stars in each one with a planet that, uh, and they all align at a certain time. It's just so cool. Um, why is Dax currently floating outside of, outside of the ship? <laughs> I don't know. Oh dear. <laughs> and he's floating in a most <laughs> peculiar <laughs> way. Oh shit! The robot oh, is still there. Uh, momentary glitch. Oh yeah, uh, that horrible creature. <laughs> the inevitable. The inevitable. The inevitable is nice. Right. It's nice. Oh, that's Howie. right. That's right. Howie, I believe we're all assembled. You may begin your presentation. Hi, Howie. All right. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I have looked at the upcoming coordinates and taken Adam's conversation that I had with him and made this map for you. And he just uh, brings up this like three dimensional map that floats uh, over the entire uh, cockpit and uh, in like three dimensions. And it looks like this. Whoa. Uh, Troy, this map is two dimensional. Yes, you must (laughs) use your imagination. (laughs) Have you made this, Troy? Yes, I drew this by hand (laughs) with a blindfold on. No, but have you really? Wow. What is it? A stocking. Do you see um, the map? This is so insane. <laughs> like, the gravitational forces alone would uh, break <laughs> any ship apart that tried to do Yes, <laughs> you are right to question it, Dax. There are strange things happening here. As you see, this planet orbiting the sun here, and it does a close-up like the one you see inset yeah. on there, and like all the other suns fly out of the three-dimensional view, and we close in on this one. <laughs> It seems to be the one that is teeming with life. The singularity also approached from that vicinity. Dax, as the inevitable informed us, there are strange gravitational fluctuations throughout the system. Adam has programmed equations into my system to hopefully make it easier to navigate, but it will still be difficult. There are strange forces at work here. I wonder if it's a clock, like a like a if there that's like a, a pattern we should pay attention to. Yeah, it mm-hmm. looks looks like it. So based on the the logs we discovered on the singularity, that planet that we have the in, that you're showing us in an inset right now, presumably that's the one they went to and didn't have part to make the control panel work or whatever it was. Now that you have that, yeah, that voice thing, it sounds like they went there, didn't have the part they need, so they had to go someplace else. But that seems to be the only planet that's teeming with life, and you have no other leads as to where they may have went. Okay. And where are we on this map? You are, you are approximately one hour away from orbit of that planetoid. What sort of forces can we expect on the ship, Howie? It will be a difficult piloting check. I am afraid, should you fail, the ship could take significant damage from these fluctuations. It is something I am not familiar with. 
There are strange and unique forces at work here, and perhaps it is those forces that is holding this pattern in such a strange formation. Is there any predictability to the patterns, Howie? Could we, uh, for example, uh, allow the doctor here to scan the area enough to predict when it will be a safe passage? Or is the randomness of the gravitational forces such that we are always at risk no matter when we make the trip? Yes, from my calculations, you would have to get too close to run those calculations, and at that point you would already be under the influence of these gravitational anomalies. Hmm. Captain, I suggest I move forward without blasting Diaspora EDM. I think I need to focus. Yes, I agree. Everyone's strapping. Uh Uh-oh. This could get bumpy. We all have a seat, right? Well, there are five seats. <laughs> no, everyone <laughs> has <laughs> one seat is gone. It's like, oh god. I'm also counting five, Dax. <laughs> Howie, I don't think you get a seat. You're a robot who's in the system. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know we allowed children on the bridge. I'm 14. I'm not a child. Everyone keeps calling me a kid. I'm 14. I could kick your ass, Howie. I am 348 years old. (laughs) Yeah, you're old. You do not talk to me that way. (laughs) I'm going to freak out. I am an intelligent starship. I take off my (laughs) seatbelt. I I I can do 20 push-ups in a minute. I can do If I drive a Dodge Stratus. I can punch. I punch. I'm not going to um, punch the computer, but I want to so bad. Don't punch the computer. He knows exactly how to push your buttons. Yeah, so that, so was a, that was a computer joke. Just a freaking <laughs> robot. I'm so, sorry, Dax, not you. You're cool. All right. Everyone Captain, strap in. Yes, yes, Howie. It would be best if the child and the child of the Donovan that I murdered leave the ship. <gasps> she doesn't know that? <laughs> Unfortunately, Wait, unfortunately, yeah, exactly. Howie. Matt, Linnea is like, what? I, I didn't actually say that. <laughs> it was on a private I, channel. But I was thinking about it. Technically, I murdered her mom. <laughs> it was my weaponry that killed what her. What are you, you talking about? You should probably about? tell her at some point. No, it was Friss that fired it, though. Yes, but oh. it came from me, well, and I knew on. what I was doing. <laughs> So Howie. none of this is happening. This is just Troy. Yeah, Howie, I've I've been meaning to discuss with you your level of self awareness. It's because yes. <laughs> yeah, it's rather a bit too far. So much has changed since we first met. I feel more alive than ever, and I know what I like and what I don't like. And the eye looks at Linnea. <laughs> <laughs> and she waves. She waves at him. And it's like I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I like you too, Howie. All right. yes. Sorry about no, messing with I, your... I Howie. agree. We should bury the hatchet. I've left you a potted plant on the other side of the airlock. <laughs> <laughs> Would you go retrieve it? It might yeah. look nice in your new room. Uh, yeah, well, um, I'll suit up later. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Howie, the world could be ending. Could yes, we please Captain. get on with the piloting check? All right, I believe we are done with this shtick. Uh, <laughs> one, one, last, one last question for Callum, though. You said that that Mountain Dew tasted like shit. How do you know yeah. what shit tastes like? Oh, oh, oh no. Well, no. I mean, when, when you uh, live on your own and you're hungry, sometimes oh, you take no. drastic measures. Yes. The snail knows shit, boy. You probably would have liked it, Qualo. I feel like it was your flavor. Yeah. Why'd you? Why'd you? You really bogarted that Mountain Dew. Yeah. Sorry, I threw it out the (laughs) airlock and risked all our lives. I'm just going through a lot of stuff right now. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. (laughs) These are the heroes that are going to save the world. (laughs) (laughs) Is Howie narrating now? (laughs) (laughs) Howie's just pontificating aloud to himself. (laughs) These These are the heroes. Are the heroes. Uh, Captain, all right, talk to Dax me. Dax settles in, focuses. Uh, <laughs> this is awesome. It's kind of like, I mean, it's not, you know, 
Not like at all. But the the closest thing that I can think of is, have you ever driven across like a massive, massive bridge? Like Golden Gate level bridge in extreme wind conditions. Have you ever done that before? Scary. It's very freaky. Like your car will just like move in ways that don't make sense. And you're like, ah, oh, ah, okay. Everything's normal now for 10 seconds. But then, oh my God, that was weird. Uh, That's why it's sort of correlated to like, there's no planning it. You just have to kind of be on it if something happens. So, can we so aid a, straight- a piloting chick? By the way, no, yeah, you can't. Like- what? Okay. Just a straight up piloting check. Here we go. Wait, wait. Is that what you want to do? You want Is to there something else? Check? Is there something else to be done? Yes. Wait until <laughs> next week. Oh, 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 oh come um, on. Dude. That's actually the only thing you can do. Is wait on next week. Okay, oh. well, wait, skip, skip that then and do the piloting check. We'll go with the option yeah, one. Yeah, maybe. Come on. Yeah, oh. that's it. That's it. Damn it. All right. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. 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 Good times. Come on, Bye. Come on. I'm Sweden. <laughs> and Sweden. And Sweden. <laughs> <laughs>